tell the story of the devastation. Documentaries yes. like to watch a documentary film for entertainment, but also to learn. You can make your own documentary films too, and you can provide the information in a project for a history class. And there's a few simple ways I can help you do that. Let me show you. Since the advent of film, amateur historians and experts alike have used the medium to express and illustrate history not only as a subject that one would expect to hear or read from a book, but also to experience as entertainment. Sometimes selecting images for their entertainment value is good, but make sure that it's relevant to your content. It allows the historian or the expert to be able to move away from the lectern, to be able to express history, content, and facts, all with something remarkable behind him. Of course, interviewing a learned and professional-looking affiliate will lend your project some credibility, some scholarly look. Be careful to make sure that you include a desk, computer, or ideally a bookcase. Asking how the Millers managed to have so No historical documentary would be complete without That's some yeah, archival footage related to the subject. The For this purpose, one should Neither. choose vintage black and white footage, and the older, the grainier, the, the better. The final frame is where you want to conclude, restate your information. You want to sum up your arguments, and you also want to end with a thought-provoking maxim, such as, well, that's history for you.